In chapter 58 of David Copperfield, David goes abroad, grieving over all he has lost. And after traveling for about a year, he settles in Switzerland. He begins to write again and publishes his third novel, which increases his literary fame. He begins to think he missed his chance at happiness when his undisciplined heart led him away from Agnes Wickfield, <sighs> finally admitting to himself he loves her, but he believes it's too late. David then returns home after three years. In chapter 59 of David Copperfield, David returns to London in autumn, wanting to surprise his friends and Miss Betsy, who are expecting him at Christmas. He visits Tommy Traddles and is surprised to find Traddles has finally married the parson's daughter to whom he has been engaged for a long time. David is impressed by the warm family spirit surrounding Traddles. He returns to his hotel where he spots Mr. Chillip, the doctor who helped bring him into the world. Mr. Chillip says Mr. Murdstone and his sister have nearly driven Mr. Murdstone's young wife mad with their cold bullying ways and also confesses it took a while for him to recover from the fright of Miss Betsy hitting him with her bonnet. The next day, David surprises his aunt and has a joyful reunion with Miss Betsy, Mr. Dick, and Peggotty, who's moved in as the housekeeper. In chapter 60 of David Copperfield, Miss Betsy tells David that Mr. Micawber has paid back the money he owed when he left England, and Mr. Wickfield is in better mental and physical health. When David asks if Agnes Wickfield has a lover, Miss Betsy says she suspects Agnes has an attachment. The next morning, David goes to see Agnes. He tries to ask her if she has anyone special in her life, but she changes the subject. After dinner, Mr. Wickfield reminisces about his wife and says Agnes is much like her mother. Unable to tell Agnes how much he's in love with her, David urges her to always remember that whatever new ties she might form, he'll always be there for her and love her as a sister he unhappily rides back to Dover. In chapter 61 of David Copperfield, David stays at his aunt's cottage while working on his next novel. David's novels have made him so famous that he gets a lot of mail from admirers. He receives a letter from Mr. Creakle, who's now a magistrate, offering to show him an example of prison reform that works. David and Traddles arrange for a tour of the prison, where the goal is for the prisoners to be completely and sincerely repentant of their evil ways two model prisoners turn out to be none other than Uriah Heep and Littimer. Heep was sent to prison for bank fraud, conspiracy, and forgery. Littimer robbed a young man and was attempting to flee to America. Heep continues to note how humble he is, and Littimer claims he was led into wickedness through having lived a thoughtless life in the service of young men. 